All right, people. So CM Punk, uh, a while back on the podcast with Colt Cabana, alleged that the WWE doctors did not treat him right, did not treat his medical problems and his injuries correctly. Um, And now a few months later, I guess the, the WWE doctor, Chris Amon, or whatever the fuck his name is, files a lawsuit against CM Punk and Colt Cabana. Now, I don't know what happened. And I, I, I remember when I made my comments on CM Punk's podcast, or Colt Cabana's podcast, that, you know, CM Punk said what he said. WWE did not come out and refute what he said. All he said was, we have the utmost trust in our doctors. So I'm like... You know, I'm, I'm going to assume this is true since WWE did not say it was false. But now it comes out. I, I, I don't know why it's taken so long for them to come out and say it's not true. You know, this doctor and I guess WWE did say that, you know, there's no evidence really that, that this happened with CM Punk. There's no evidence that the w, WWE doctors neglected CM Punk. But now they're coming out and saying it months later. Why did it take him so long? You know, usually when somebody makes an allegation, like this major allegation against you, and if it's false, you should come out and say it right away. Why wait? Why wait three months after it's over? So, um, apparently they they said the same bullshit they said a month ago. Yeah, we have utmost faith in our doctors, blah, 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 blah. Get to the point. Is it true or is it not true? Don't, Don't say, oh, we have the most faith in our doctors. Yeah, I don't care about that shit. Say, you know, get to the point here. So apparently then they come out and say, um, WWE's investigation, oh, I'm sure they had a great investigation into this, you know, <laughs> but what, whatever, you know. Uh, you know I, don't, I don't even know if it's true, so whatever, but it said CM Punk did not discuss this alleged condition with WWE's team of physicians and trainers, nor did he discuss it with anyone in our talent relations department. Subsequently, WWE has no medical records documenting this alleged condition. The first time WWE was made aware of this allegation, or this alleged condition, was when we received a letter from Punk's attorney on August 22, 2014, after WWE terminated his contract. Then they go on to say there is no clear uh, video showing in the Royal Rumble of 2014 that there is an appearance of a baseball-sized growth on CM Punk's back. Now, I'm no medical expert, but I mean, if there's like a growth, it might not be popping out, but you could feel it. You know, maybe that was the case, I don't know. But, I mean, really, they, they, they still are like, oh, there's no evidence. Did it happen or did it not happen? You know, I don't, I don't know. Apparently, they're saying, you know, there's no evidence to suggest it happened. So, obviously, they're, you know, obviously they're not going to really say that, oh, our doctors suck or whatnot. But, I mean, you know, I, I would have loved that, you know, Vince McMahon, you know, would have addressed this, you know, like, when somebody, again, when somebody makes an allegation against you that, that is this huge, I mean, this is huge, this is talking of life and death. I mean, if CM Punk goes in there with an injury and, they, and, and they're not treating him properly, he could die. I mean, if you have a concussion and, and you, you know, fuck up your head in, in the ring, I mean, you could be paralyzed, you could die. I mean, you know, this isn't something that you should be playing around with, um... I mean, chances are you're not going to die, but it could happen. So when when somebody alleges you of this, you should address it publicly to your fans, not some bullshit, you know, release, you know, press release to PW Torch or whatever. You should, you know, have a press conference or make an announcement about it right away because this is this is not something to fuck around with. So apparently, you know, it's finally they're, they're fucking suing. At least the doctor is for defamation. He says it doesn't happen. And I think if he's suing for defamation, you know, I think he, again, I don't know what happened, but my gut tells me CM Punk is exaggerating it. Because I'm, I'm not, I, I know a little bit about defamation lawsuits because I filed close to the Jesse Ventura, Chris Kyle defamation lawsuit and to overturn a defamation, you know, to have a defamation lawsuit go in your favor for the person who is suing for defamation in this place, in this uh, scenario, it is a doctor. You have to have everything pretty much go your way. Um, and, and I think that, um, and you, like, you have to prove definitively, without a question, that, you know, this, this, this is, bull, that CM Punk's claim is bullshit. So I think that, 
you know, CM Punk is exaggerating it, and I don't think he's, uh, you know, 100% true in his statements, you know, maybe a little bit, but I don't know, again, I don't, I don't know the full extent of it, <clears throat> but, you know, I get why uh, CM Punk is, or the doctor, you know, if this claim is, you know, if CM Punk's claims are bullshit, I get, I get that the doctor is suing Punk, but why are you suing Cabana, that's so stupid, why, Cabana just asked Punk, why, why the hell are, are you suing Colt Cabana? He didn't do jack, jack shit. He let CM Punk talk. You know, this is a classic example of trying to kill the messenger as, a, as opposed to kill the message. Go after the, the message and, you know, go after the liar, you know, supposed liar himself, who is Punk. Don't go after Colt Cabana. That is bullshit. Go after the message, not the messenger. Um... So, you know, we'll have to see what happens here with this lawsuit and whatnot. I think it's like a $1 million lawsuit. And then again, it's bullshit that he's suing Colt Cabana. Come on, that, that's lame right there. I mean, I'm sure Colt doesn't have that much money. He's an indie wrestler. So, I mean, and again, Colt Cabana didn't do anything wrong. All he did was let CM Punk talk. He, he didn't do jack shit. So why are you suing Colt Cabana? That's bullshit. If anybody, you should only be suing CM Punk. But there you go, people. There's my little video there on the on the, the defamation lawsuit between WWE's doctor and CM Punk and Colt Cabana. So there you go, people.